Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem on Carnot equilibrium that was asked by a brother on WhatsApp. The question is like this. Suppose we have two firms that face a linear demand curve that is given by P is equal to A minus B Y, where P is the price and Y is the total output and have constant marginal cost C. Okay, so both firms have same marginal cost. Okay, now for each firm, solve for the Carnot equilibrium output. So we have to find the Carnot equilibrium output. How do we find that? Let us see. First, we need to see what is the uh, demand curve, inverse demand curve. Is, that is, P is equal to A minus B Y. Okay, and this is our inverse demand function for both firms. Okay, and this Y can be written as we can write it like this p is equal to a minus p y1 plus y2 why because we have two firms and each firm produces y uh, 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 firm one produces y1 firm two produces y2 that is this is the aggregate of the y1 and y2 so we just expanded this in Carnot model okay now, how can we find the Carnot equilibrium output? For that, we need to find the reaction functions. Okay, what we also call the, the best response uh, curve. Okay, how do we find uh, the reaction function for firm one? First, we will find the reaction uh, function for firm one. That is formed uh, by first we need to find the total revenue. So, I will write here. Uh, reaction function uh, for firm 1 let us say we have two firms firm 1 and firm 2 how do we find the reaction function for that we need to find first uh, the profit function okay for firm 1 how do we find the profit first we need to find the total revenue and we need to find the total cost okay now what will be the total <laughs> revenue for firm 1 is equal to price into output produced by firm 1 okay p into y that is price into quantity gives us the total revenue and what is p p is being given us is a minus b y1 plus y2 okay this is our price function that is inverse demand function and to this we multiply the output of firm 1 that is y1 okay now let's multiply this y1 to each of these terms so a into y1 is a y1 then we have minus b y1 square b y1 square this uh, b is multiplied first to this y1 and this y1 is multiplied to this y1 okay then we have minus b y2 y1 minus b y2 y1 okay this is total revenue for total revenue function for firm one and what is total cost total cost for firm one is simply marginal cost marginal cost times output produced by firm one that is y1 let us say that means uh, t c1 that is total cost is equal to what is marginal cost is given us as c so this is c times y1 okay now we can find out the profit profit as we know profit for firm 1 is simply equal to total revenue by firm 1 minus total cost of the firm 1 okay now what is total revenue function we have calculated it that means pi that is profit for firm 1 is equal to uh, that is a y1 minus b y1 square minus b y2 y1 and to this we subtract total cost that is minus c y1 okay this is the profit function now uh, first order condition for profit maximization requires so i will write here first order condition for profit maximization requires that the derivative of profit function for with respect to quantity by firm one 
it should be equal to 0. That means we need to take the derivative of this profit function of firm 1 with respect to the quantity produced by the uh, firm 1 and set it equal to 0. Simply take the derivative of this partial derivative. So the derivative of y1 is 1. We are left with a in the first term minus this 2 becomes coefficient. So this is 2 b y1 and this 2 is obviously subtracted by 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so we have uh, exponent as 1 and we don't write uh, usually the exponent as 1 so then we have minus the derivative of y1 is 1 so we are left with b y2 here the derivative is 1 so we are left with c and we set it equal to 0 now solving for y1 so if we transpose this this will become positive 2 b y 1 is equal to so then we have a minus b y 2 minus c okay i am just re re rearranging the uh, re arranging this and skipping some uh, steps to save the space and i hope you get this now if i just again rearrange this so i can write it like this a minus c minus b y 2 okay now solving for y1 that means y1 is equal to a minus c uh, minus b y 2 and dividing it by this twice b if we transpose it will get divided that means y1 is equal to so we can write it like this a minus c upon 2b okay just expanding this then we have minus b y2 upon 2b okay that means here uh, b and b will get cancelled that means y1 is equal to a minus c upon 2b minus y2 upon 2 okay this is called the reaction for uh, reaction function of firm one okay so reaction uh, function of firm one what does it say it simply says optimal uh, quantity firm one should produce given firm two produces y2 okay if y2 changes uh, its output sorry if firm two changes uh, this y2 firm uh, one will change it is y1 or we say it simply uh, best uh, response for firm one in terms of output level decided by firm two okay so whatever action uh, uh, firm two uh, takes the reaction comes from firm one if firm two changes it is output level from y2 to y3 uh, firm one will also change it is uh, output from y1 to uh, let us say to uh, y4 uh, anything that means it uh, reaction function simply tell us what will happen if firm 2 changes its output if firm 2 changes its output firm 1 will also change its output because in Carnot equilibrium Carnot model firms compete in terms of output okay if firm 2 changes its output firm 1 will also change its output and this is called the reaction function and similarly uh, you can also check this out firm 2's reaction function will be equal to a minus c upon 2b minus y1 upon 2 that means firm 2 will change its output if firm 1 changes its output okay so these are the two reaction functions now if uh, firms are identical what will happen identical in terms of they have same marginal cost okay then uh, if we assume that if uh, firms are symmetric or identical identical okay that means y1 is equal to y2 let us say it is equal to y star okay that means y star is same for y1 and y2 that means both firms produce same level of output okay if we assume firms are identical then what will happen if y1 is equal to y2 is equal to y star let us uh, put 
uh, y1 is equal to y star in the first reaction function okay that means y in place of y1 we have y star is equal to a minus c upon 2b minus uh, y2 is also equal to y star so i will write here y star y star uh, upon 2 now transposing this so we have y star uh, plus y star upon 2 is equal to a minus c upon 2b simply now add this a uh, 2y plus 1y is just 3y 3y star upon 2 is equal to a minus c upon 2b that implies y star is equal to if we transpose 3 by 2 it will become 2 upon 3 uh, 2 upon 3 um, a minus c upon 2b okay this 2 and 2 will get cancelled so we are left with y star is equal to 1 upon 3 a minus c divided by b that means firm 1 will produce this amount of output okay and similarly a uh, firm 2 will also produce let me rub this out here okay let me rub this out here so firm 1 produces uh, uh, 1 upon 3 a minus c upon b this is the output level produced by firm 1 since we assume that firms are identical firm 2 will also let us say this is y y1 is equal to this y2 will be also equal to 1 upon 3 a minus c upon b okay simple and what will be the total output total output will be y1 plus y2 that is equal to 1 upon 3 a minus c upon b plus 1 upon 3 a minus c upon b since variables are same uh, we can add up the term so 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 is equal to 2 upon 3 a minus c upon b that is the total output produced by both firms in Carnot model and the question was only about this Carnot equilibrium output will be this very thing that is firm 1 will produce this very amount of output and firm 2 will produce this very amount of output and total output will be the aggregate of y1 and y2 this comes out to be 2 upon 3 a minus c upon b and here one thing you can also visualize when we have two firms each firm will produce one third of output okay if we have three firms then each firm will produce one fourth of output similarly if we have n n firms then each firm will produce one upon n plus one of output okay i hope i make myself clear in this video actually i i will try to make a more um, detailed video on the Carnot model okay for that i need your support if you want to donate to this channel you can donate uh, via paypal account is given in the youtube uh, basic info you can find there the paypal account if you want otherwise if you don't want then it's also okay okay so thank you